welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelica Fitzgerald. If you are new and if you are not new, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be reviewing one product. I wanted to say one awesome product, but I don't know if it's awesome yet. I've actually never used it. Um, it is by Cool Law. It is the Refreshing Water Mist Sunscreen by Cool Law. Now, you guys know I love Cool Law. Like 99% of the products they come out they come straight into my pantry for me to use every single day. So I'm really hoping this ranks right up there with all of the products that I love from them. Now, two videos ago, I reviewed a sunless tan. Wasn't such a fan over that, unfortunately. But uh, one video ago that I reviewed by Kula, it was their um, SPF 30 Mineral Sun Soak Creme, which was basically this but in a cream version. So it would go under your makeup, um, you put it on first, and uh, then you put your makeup on and you are blocking that sun, shielding your face um, for as long as you can. Now, one of the things I mentioned about sun care in my last video was you really should reapply every two hours and how that's mission impossible with a cream sunscreen and a full face of makeup. So uh, here we are with our refreshing water mist sunscreen. I'm going to take it out of the box actually. I've never used it before, but it is a spray and it is supposed to go on top of your face whether you have makeup or not because it's a spray. So um, I really hope this works. The only thing I was kind of skeptical over is that it's SPF 18. Now I even mentioned in my last video, if it's under SPF 30, throw it away. Don't even look at it. Make it your golden rule to do SPF 30 and above. Um, so I don't know how well I'm going to love this because it's kind of low for an SPF product, but this product is a refreshing water mist. It's supposed to give you a dewy, glowy look uh, over your makeup or if you don't have makeup. So the SPF part of this is like an additional uh, part of it, it seems. Like the main part of this is to be that like summer glowy, water misty product. So we're going to see how useful this actually is. I mean, I love Cool Out, but I also like being honest better. So <laughs> I'm going to give my honest thoughts on if this is a good product or not. It just came out, I think like a week ago. So yeah, let's put it on and see what I think about it. Before we go any further, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button below to be notified when I post and to support me because I definitely appreciate all of you guys supporting me. So if you are ready, Let's get started. All right, so I have a full face of makeup. I actually just finished a photo shoot, um, so I'm glamming. Uh, and I've had my makeup on probably seven hours now, and it's only like noon. It was a very early photo shoot. So I have a full face of makeup on. Um, I'm gonna spray this on, talk about how it feels immediately. Since this is my first time using this, this will be a first impression uh, part of the video. And then we're gonna talk about what's in the product, the pros and cons, and then it's up to you if you want to buy it. So I just realized I make up all over my teeth. So yeah, the struggle of wanting to have fabulous, glamorous lips, but getting everything all over your teeth. I actually just reapplied some lip stain that I like better than what I had on at my shoot earlier, which is why I have like a fresh set of lips on. Um, so yeah, pay no attention to my beautiful lip stain colored teeth. All right, so it says at the top of the bottle, shake well before use. So this is probably shaken well. All right, so. It says to close eyes, but it's not spraying. Oh, there we go. <sighs> oh my God. So I feel very wet, like very wet. Let me just. Woo, I am glowy, I am dewy, I am everything that the product says I should be. Um, and this is a water mist, so it comes out clear. It smells like coconut, which I'm sure somewhere on here it says what it's infused with. Okay, so it says to allow to dry fully. So we're gonna allow this to dry fully. Um, I feel like, wow, even though it's like partially dried, I feel like I'm glowing. Like I'm not just trying, <laughs> I'm not just trying to talk myself up. I feel like I'm glowing, like to tell y'all that this product does give a glow to it. 
So um, if you like that dewy glowy look, I'm already gonna say like this is your product. If you don't, which actually I typically don't, if I do my makeup, I matte my face out like crazy because I naturally kind of have oily skin. And I just look like sweat when I give myself the oily dewy look. Okay, so my first thoughts on this is this is like a summer must have just because of how fresh it smells. I would probably use this more without my makeup on because I am not a fan of the dewy, shiny look, which I know that's like super in trend right now and most people love that. So I am just one of the exceptions that doesn't. But if you like that look, this is like everything because I feel like every place that I move my face, I'm getting a different reflection, um, which I'm not used to because normally my face is matted out. Uh, but if you like that dewy, glowy look, this is, it's everything. So on the bottle it says a refreshing water mist sunscreen it is full spectrum 360 it's alcohol free it's anti-pollution it blocks uva uvb ir hev um, and it's broad spectrum spf 18. so that was our worry here is spf 18. how much is that actually going to protect your skin so i'm going to be honest with you um if you are looking at this product for the sole purpose of spf coverage and to have a sunscreen um I think you might be able to find better products that cover your face from the sun and shield it and protect it more. Now, will they go on as fluid as this product? Probably not. Will they um, go well with your makeup? That's one thing that this product kind of has above a lot of other products is that this is meant to go over your makeup and not change the composition of your makeup, not break it down, not add a gross film to it, and you can apply multiple layers of this all day long. I mean, just chunk it in your purse and apply it every time you get in your car. And it doesn't get sticky or greasy um, or just kind of nasty. This is buildable. This is super lightweight. I mean, it's a water mist. So, it, I mean, it's the lightest weight that weight can come. So, that being said, I would recommend this as an SPF product because of all of the other components that like stronger SPF products will lack. Um, I would highly, highly, highly suggest to put SPF underneath your makeup already, some type of face sunscreen. I already reviewed what I believe is the best face sunscreen um, two videos in my last, well, actually I have the product like somewhere Ugh, under my chair. But this product I thought was a bomb SPF and this is a cream, so it goes on your face before your makeup. Uh, so with something like this, I would recommend putting on an SPF product before you do your makeup so you already have that locked in underneath your face. And then this is an additional added on every two hours to block the sun out application. I think everybody really needs to take sun care really seriously. So. This is not enough on its own, but this combined with other powerful actual cream products will definitely do the trick. So I'm just gonna pull up the website real fast and talk about some ingredients in the product. Like always, I will attach a bunch of stuff below so you guys can just read it. But yeah, I wanna talk a little bit more about the price, the size, all of the technical stuff. So this product does retail for $36. Now, do I think that's a good price? Mm, for a water mist, I think that's a little bit high. Cool out while you gotta do that. Yeah, I think this is a little bit pricey for a water mist product. Again, I mean, it's SPF 18 and it's like an additional product to and hopefully you wearing a SPF product underneath your makeup. Um, it smells great, it's lightweight, it's buildable, um, it's organic, it's vegan, it's plant-based, it's cruelty-free, it's farm to face. I mean, it's it's got a lot of good stuff in it, but I do think $36 for it might be a smidgen much. I mean, that's based off you to judge. Uh, it's also in a small bottle and uh, just from the like five sprays that I sprayed on my face already, it's already down to like right here. So I mean look at, there's the whole bottle. It's a small bottle, I did five sprays. So it doesn't look like this is the longest lasting product, um, especially if you apply it every two hours and maybe not do five sprays but two sprays. I mean you do the math there but I don't see this lasting too too long. So. Uh, too expensive in my opinion. It is 1.7 fluid ounces, so we love that. It is travel friendly. The um, travel size is 3.4, so this will go perfectly in a carry-on and to go on the plane, you don't have to check this. So we love that, especially since a lot of you will be buying this for vacation or 
traveling around town. So you want this to be travel friendly. <laughs> okay, so it's all star ingredients are organic aloe and coconut water. Those are both great products. Um, they're ultra hydrating, they're refreshing, they're rich in antioxidants. Um, and this helps replenish dehydrated and environmentally stressed skin. I live in the city, I live in Los Angeles. Like, there's no more I, I environmentally stressed place than here. So um, definitely I like this because of that. It's not, I mean, yes, it's about protecting from the sun, but it's not all about the sun, um, especially like it's winter right now. I mean, I know winter in LA, it's like sunny and 70 degrees outside. So what is winter? But, uh, you know, it's still cold, even though it's sunny. So we're not outside as much. Um, but we're in the shade and so something that is more important to me to protect me from is the uh, UV lights and the blue light that I get from all of my electronic devices that's awful for us and I'm literally sitting in a room with three computers and my phone and my laptop so I have a lot of blue lights surrounding me right now and um, going around downtown, um, not even downtown, Beverly Hills, West Hollywood, Hollywood. I mean, there are so many pollutants in the air, so many nasty things going around that to have something block and protect my face is important to me. If you're living in a beautiful farm country land, like where I used to live back home in Texas, you don't have to worry about the nastiness in the air as much because it's beautiful and green. But if you're in a big city like me, you definitely need to take that seriously uh, and protect your skin. So this is great for that. So it's blend of supercharged antioxidants, plant-derived actives, and all the active levels that are clinically shown to help mitigate the skin's damage from exposure to blue light um, and pollution are in here. So it goes into a lot of details on their website about the HEV light, which is the blue light, um, about the sun and the UV rays from that, and just the all-around environmental protection that this has for your skin. Uh, so like I said, it's not jumping off as this is an SPF, it's totally meant to protect your skin from the sun, like this is what this product's meant for. This product, while it does have a small element inside of it to protect your skin from the sun, it has a lot of other things to protect your skin from our daily life things that we come in contact with that might not be so good for us, um, all of the HEV lights, and as well as keeping that face on. Um, my face, it actually feels like it ain't moving because I actually do have the uh, mineral sun silk creme underneath my face. I've been using this ever since I got it like a week and a half ago and I love it. Um, so the active combination of, of this guy and this guy um, go well together. It actually says on the website that these two products are meant to work strongest and at their best together. So um, that's why I was really excited to get this. But overall, I would recommend it. There are some things that I wish Kula would have done more in this product, like the SPF 18. Like, what are we doing? Like, how much more work would it have been to make this SPF 30? I'm not sure. I am not an SPF creator, but uh, you know, they can do it here. So do it here, guys. Uh, that would have been nice. And then as well as the cost, I think the cost could be a little bit cheaper. But overall, um, I think this is definitely a product especially when summer comes up that like if you like girly fun stuff this would be perfect like you will love this those are my honest thoughts and opinions on this so if you were to ask me if i would recommend this i would say absolutely yes because it does have so many things that i look for in a product in terms of blocking out more than just the sun being able to apply it multiple times it not getting greasy and cakey with my skin and it also feels good like i said it smells like coconut so it's super refreshing and as summer approaches i really do think this will be a fun product to have in my arsenal of summer and skincare products so uh, this is definitely Angelica approved. There are some things I would change about it, but hey, just like people, not every product can be perfect. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like me to review anything else, definitely make sure to leave it in the comments below. Also make sure to follow me on Instagram. That is where I do a ton of my polls on asking you guys what y'all wanna see, um, some yes or no stuff about products, and I really engage and interact with y'all there. So definitely make sure to follow me on Instagram to keep up and take part in what products I review next. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.